to crankin out crafts my name is jay flow and we are going to begin our thanksgiving week and today we're going to show you how to make this adorable little turkey bag and it's very easy you can use lots of scraps of ribbon that you have around the house as well as paper or fun foam for the body so to get started i've just drawn drawn this kind of figure eight shape which will be the turkey body I'm going to cut that out and I traced that little pattern on the back side so it won't show once we attach it to the bag all right again you can use fun foam or felt might even be cute for this too and there's my turkey body the next thing I've done is I've cut strips of ribbon in about five inch strips in different colors and widths and pattern for fall colors this is going to make up the turkey feathers that we put behind our little turkey man okay and this is how you're going to make the fake the faux feather you're going to take your ribbon and just lay it on top of each other just like that to do a little loop so like this and i'll put a little glue here just like that and loop it around and then we set this to dry then I've got all of these different ones here I'm going to start with my I'll start with my big one and I like to put three down when I begin so one two and three Okay, and then we'll start layering. It's really easy. Your kids can do it, but I would recommend probably using glue dots if you're going to do it with kids or older kids, I guess, could use a glue gun. So you can always take a look on how it's forming. Then we'll start adding in other colors. So we'll do some browns. And you can flip these over whichever way you want to. We're just starting to fill everything in now. You can see how cute it's becoming. And add a few more. Turn it over every now and then so you can make sure it's looking good. And it is. We'll put in a few more in the back. So we've used three, six, nine, probably about 12 feathers is a good number to go with when you're backing it. And I love all the different um, patterns that we're using too. All right, last one, I'll just stick it up there. It's a mess in the back, but you turn it over and it's really cute. Okay. Next, we're going to add two little googly eyes, and we need to make a beak. And I just chose this cute patterned paper. I'm going to half it and then create a triangle. This makes his little beak, and it actually opens up too, like that. It's cute. Okay, and now for the little I call it a gobble gobble. I don't know the right term for it. <laughs> but we're going to stick the little gobble gobble on with glue. And we just are using a reddish rickrack. So, a little bit of hot glue. Put the little gobble gobble on the side. Then your little beak. And then final touch. Let's do some hot glue on Google Eyes. If you don't want to use the Google Eyes, you could also just color it in with a pen, a little black pen. And finally, put some glue on the back and place it on the bag. Now you have an adorable little bag that you can put cookies in for the neighbor or a little treat bag for kids. So we hope you have a happy Thanksgiving.